brass instruments are expensive, and because of this, one of the many options that we as consumers turn to is picking up an instrument made out of plastic. These can certainly be a very attractive and colorful option, but are they really viable? Well, today I have with me a plastic euphonium, and I'm going to answer that question. So first things first, this is the Kaiser Red B-flat plastic euphonium. They don't come in any other key other than B-flat. I don't think there are euphoniums in any other key. I bought this second hand and I have now owned it for a couple of months now. And honestly, it's not horrible. Damn it. The instrument has a number of very interesting characteristics. For one, the case is fairly unorthodox. It's completely soft and it opens from the top here. And then you just pull the instrument out like so. The instrument has water keys on every single tuning slide except for the second valve for obvious reasons. But something else you may have noticed is that it actually has a fourth valve down here at the side. Which you really only see on more advanced models of euphoniums. Something that is less peculiar but more annoying about this instrument is that the valves are insanely loud. They also don't function very well at all. Also, um, they designed these valve caps in a way in which they are impossible to unscrew once you've gotten them in too tight. So, um, perhaps imagine maybe you, you just pulled them into a, just a little too tight after a good cleaning. In that case, you are going to have to come to accept the fact that you will likely never see your valves again. One more awkward thing about this instrument is that there are a number of just very sharp 90 degree turns in the tubing, and this can disrupt or even ruin the airflow, which can unfortunately be seen in this instrument when not using enough air. That's another thing about plastic instruments. You really have to use a lot more air to get a good tone quality. This euphonium has a number of small tuning issues. Uh, for example, the C above the staff is very out of tune. Now normally this can just be fixed by extending a tuning slide or two, but the thing is, the note is too flat, so Extending a tuning slide will only make it worse. Now, luckily, this can just be fixed by using alternative fingerings, but it's just something to be wary of. That said, this instrument and plastic instruments like it do serve a purpose. They are very light, very durable, and that's cringe. It is very light, it is very durable, and to the untrained ear, it can be pretty hard to tell difference between one of these and a brass instrument. But here's the big problem. This instrument retails brand new for 469 US dollars. Do not buy it at that price. You can find plenty of real brass baritones and even some euphoniums for around the same price or even less if you're lucky. And those will often be of much higher quality and will last you a lot longer than a plastic instrument will. Now I was lucky enough to win this off of a bidding for just $160 and I believe that is just a much more realistic price for what you're getting here. Moral of the story is there comes a point in terms of price where a plastic instrument becomes irrelevant and you enter the realm of quality used brass horns. So using all of this information, if you find a plastic brass instrument at a decent price, should you buy it? Well, I believe that there are a number of situations in which it would be reasonable to pick up a plastic instrument. If you are a parent and your child wishes to play a brass instrument, then plastic is actually a very good option due to its durability and lightweight. If you yourself wish to pick up 
the basic skills of a brass instrument and you're not sure if you're willing to commit fully, then plastic may be your way to go. If you are like me and you already play an instrument and you need something just to practice on every once in a while and you don't have that much money to spend, plastic may not be a terrible option. Or finally, if you are a professional and you wish to have something just for novelty purposes just to mess around on or even to practice with when you're on the go, plastic may be your answer. So to end off this video, I would just like to say that if you don't have the money to buy a brass instrument, then plastic can certainly be a good option because at the end of the day, this does serve the purpose of being a euphonium that I can practice on. Although if you have a choice, it will always without a doubt be better to save maybe another hundred bucks or so to pick up a real brass instrument. Although, it is certainly important to be wary of the brand.